in these two boxes, I have a surfboard. A while ago, I interviewed the guys at Blueprint Surf. They're making 3D printed surfboards. So check out that interview. Uh, it's pretty interesting and quite fascinating how they uh, design and 3D print their surfboards. So I decided to try my hand at it and I designed my own. I tried 3D printing a board a long time ago, if you've been following me for a while, uh, and that one was pretty successful. It was surfable, but didn't come out exactly the best. So I wanted to try it again. So this is my next iteration right here. It's a little groveler type of board. The dimensions are 5'2 by, I believe, 21 uh, by two and a half inches. It's got a good amount of volume, about 29 to 30 liters. And I designed this by using like software like Shaper 3DX, just the free version. And I exported out um, slices from it, imported it into a program like Fusion 360, and just kind of did some 3D modeling and came up with this. Sliced it apart so it could be 3D printed. And I did some experimentation before I came to what I have here. Because some of the challenges of 3D printing a surfboard is you wanna to try to keep it light and it's really hard to do. So what I did was I did a couple scale models. I did some quick calculations and figured out what the weight of the material I was using to print. Uh, in this case, it was PLA and see how, uh, how it would scale. Uh, PLA, pretty heavy depending on your print settings. I tried using ASA, but ASA inherently has some issues too. Uh, I landed on lightweight PLA, specifically Polymaker Yellow PLA, lightweight PLA. Also, by the way, it's very abrasive. It's very hard on the Teflon tubes of your 3D printer. So just be aware of that if you're printing with that stuff. And I printed half of it on my Bamboo Lab X1C. I should say more than half of it. And I also printed parts of it using my Anycubic Viper. Um, just to speed it up. But I probably would just use the Bamboo Lab printers now. I even purchased uh, a P1S because I love the X1C so much. Even though I got that one free for review, I used my own money and bought one. The, those printers are just awesome. A couple other little things about this. The total filament I used was 900 meters and around 2.7 kilograms. And that's in the, again, Polymaker Lightweight PLA. And that PLA is 32% lighter than regular PLA. And like I said, I tried using ASA because it is a lighter material, but uh, I had a lot of warping. It just, it was just hard to print. In total, there are 60 pieces and I've left spots in the back here for a leash plug and a vent plug as well. And total print time, if I were to print the whole thing on the X1C, it would take about 92 hours. So that's just kind of a little bit of the design and kind of where I'm at with this 3D printed surfboard. But why am I making this video? Well, I've been kind of lazy and I just haven't gotten around to glassing this board. I've actually made a couple other boards since I started this project last winter and I've been just on and off of it. So I decided that why not just release these files out into the wild for you guys or whoever finds this video. I want to post it up on printables for any of you out there that decide to want to try your hand at 3D printing a surfboard without having to go through the process of designing it. It also makes for a great wall hanger. It looks really cool. I've included slots for the thin boxes, but what I will do is include the raw CAD files for Fusion so that if you want to do any changes, you can do that. Um, but this is made for future spin boxes and I have holes for the leash and vent plug, which those can be deleted if you want to go in a different direction. Or if you just want to print it off and hang it, you can just totally do that too. That would look really cool up on the wall. You could probably scale it slightly too if you want it just a little bit bigger. Uh, if you don't want to do any modeling or any changes to it, you could just scale the parts up or down in the slicer. It's also based on a real board I was actually working on and that I never got around to finishing, but I am going to work on this one. So I decided that why not try to make a replica by 3D printing it. Be interesting to kind of test to see how each one rides once they're finished. That would be kind of cool too. That is a 3D printed surfboard that I'm going to release out into the wild for you guys to print. 
Also, if any of you actually get around to printing this and trying to glass it and ride it, I'd be really curious in knowing how you make out. So please hit me up on Instagram, uh, post a comment on printables. In terms of how do you glass something like this, I'm gonna use a technique that back in the day when you build like balsa model airplanes, they would cover the frame, the, the balsa frame with tissue paper, and then they would put something called dope on it. And it's like this really, I remember very, very lots of VOC type of, it might even be a lacquer of some sort. And then that will give the frame some structure to be able to glass it. And it would still be kind of translucent. The type of tissue paper I have here is wet strength tissue paper. And I think that's probably the stuff to go with, not regular tissue paper. This stuff is a lot stronger when it gets wet. So I hope you guys enjoy this 3D printed model. See you guys in the next one.